Hey folks, thanks for joining me for another Lord of the Rings centric uh, figure review, <laughs> basically. Um, now this is the San Diego Comic Con, uh, what is it called? PX Previews Exclusive? Um, yeah, I still haven't torn that off, so I'm still going to do that. That'll make it a lot better. There we go. Can get rid of that rubbish. So yeah, I've, I've just sort of half opened this to take a quick look um, at the packaging. Um, so I know what I'm talking about now that I'm recording the review. Um, so yeah, this is Diamond Select Toys. And it's a uh, Journey to Mordor box set, apparently one of 4,000. I don't know whether they're all going to be individually numbered or whether I do actually have one of 4,000 or whether every single one of them just has one of 4,000. I'm not sure. I haven't worked that out yet, but um, if it is numbered one of 4,000, that's cool. If not, so be it. That's fine. Um, yeah, I really like the packaging for this thing. I think it really nicely set out. Obviously, I've put this on backwards because it's meant to be in the, in the spine. But, but that's cool. That's fine. Um, yeah, I'll be definitely be holding on to this packaging because it just looks great. Um, it's nice. We've got the back of the... Uh... Yeah, what does it say there? Uh, it's just about the designs. New Line Cinema, all the sort of licensing stuff. So yeah, it just comes with this nice little... Alright, so here we have the sleeve taken off. Um, these these ribbons were sort of tied up when I got it, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to worry about tying that up again. So here we got the uh, the figures displayed, really nicely presented in the box here. So we have Frodo, invisible Frodo, slightly invisible Frodo. Um, based on, you know, when he puts the ring on, he vanishes. And we have Gollum himself, which looks great. So really liking that. And here we have Gollum's little boat. And what we can't see is a couple of accessories, so we'll take them out and have a look in a moment. And we'll get a look at this set out of the box as soon as I've uh, Open these up, but uh, yeah, it's looking looking pretty cool. I'm I'm pretty excited to uh, take a look at these these figures. So let's do that. All right, so here's a look at the first side of the box. We have Gollum's little boat that he has crafted out of bones and rope and you know leather. Somehow it's very ornate. He <laughs> did a good job of this boat. Um, yeah, the, the sculpt on this thing is really, really nice. Uh, there were There's a couple of holes at the bottom which we used uh, to zip tie this thing, um, you know, twist tie sort of this thing into the packaging. So sadly, I don't think it'll actually float unless I uh, block up those holes. But uh, yeah, not sure how it would fare anyway. Um, yeah, really nicely painted, really nicely detailed. I think it looks great. I feel like this set would probably be a little bit more better suited to uh, the Hobbit and bring putting Bilbo in there instead of Frodo, but that's a, that's okay. I'm I'm cool with that. I'm sure they'll get onto doing some Hobbit figures at some point. Um, but yeah, for now, Lord of the Rings. Uh, so we have a second head sculpt for Gollum here. Can focus. There we go. That looks pretty good. Probably the only gripe I have is there's no sign of any sort of hair. You know, Gollum has a little bit of stringy hair. Um, you know, he doesn't have much, but he kind of just does look a little strange without it. Um, so I'm going gonna, gonna to do some looking around the internet and see if anyone's come up with a solution for that. Um, whether it's a, something someone's been able to customize themselves, because yeah, he, he needs to have his little ratty hair, but. You know, the sculpt itself looks fantastic. The paint job's really nice. Just a simple ball joint in there. So we'll take a look at that when we take a look at Gollum. Uh, we have a couple of Gollum hands. We just have this sort of open, relaxed, reaching out hand perhaps. And then uh, holding the ring. So that's cool. And you can't have Gollum without a fish. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. I like that. That's cool. 
So yeah, let's get the figures out and take a look at them. All right, here is Frodo and Gollum. Now the cool thing about this set is they've given him a display stand, which is really nice. I'm sure it's probably more so meant for uh, Frodo here, um, just given that he's clear and you know, putting on a clear base kind of works well. But otherwise he stands okay on his own. Um, in terms of detail, it's kind of hard to tell on this figure alone. Um, so yeah, just hang out because uh, I do have the regular painted Frodo on his way, um, as well as the uh, ring rake that's been released. So I'll have that in the coming, hopefully next week, um, but we'll see. But yeah, the sculpt of Sting, um, sits in there nicely. Yeah, you got all the, you can sort of see all the joints and articulation throughout the middle. But yeah, not not my cup of tea really. I know they've tried this before. Um, well, not Diamond Select necessarily, but uh, they did this with a couple of the figures back in the Toy Biz days, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, looking forward to getting the uh, fully painted one and really getting a look at the detail. Um, because yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to see, but, the, but it feels good. It was like a nice, nice sturdy figure. Good height. Standing next to Legolas here. Yeah, he's a good scale, good, good scale there. So, looks all right. So, we'll take a look at Gollum. Leave, leave this Mr. Frodo over there. So here we have Gollum. Um, again, head sculpt looks great. Just missing that hair, you know. It just doesn't take much and you know looking at it from front on like this it's not a big deal I'm not seeing a big problem there but yeah when you start to come around it just feels like it's missing that but in terms of sculpt paint design you know it looks fantastic he's got all sort of whip lashes over his back scars he's got his little loincloth oh no we're not going to look under there today <laughs> The legs, feet. Big blue eyes. So yeah, we're really gonna see if we can get him into a good like crouched. Oh there you go, he got a good good first hand look there at Gollum's Gollum's bits. So yeah, it's it's hard while I'm sort of half behind a camera here. But uh I'll have a play around with this afterwards. Let's see if I can't get him to stand in a crouched position like that. Oh, I'm very close. There we go. I don't know, because my camera's up on an angle, it kind of looks funny, but that works all right. I think it looks good. Again, switching out the heads as possible. Kind of like Angry Gollum. I think it looks good. And uh, we'll see how the the fish sits in his hand there. <laughs> no, it will, but it's uh, I'll put it in his mouth instead. They're master chips. <laughs> I'm a little bit out of practice with my Gollum imp impersonation. I used to do it quite well when I was younger. But, uh. Yeah. It's looking good. I'm, I'm digging it. So, I'd love to hear what you guys think down in the comments below. Uh, yeah, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I appreciate you hanging out for uh, again another something a little bit different on my on my Star Wars centric channel here. Um, yeah, I'm, it's nice to sort of take a look at some other other stuff and actually talk about it a little bit. Stand? No, you're not going to want to stand today. That's okay. <laughs> we'll let it go. All right, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Definitely appreciate you hanging out and checking it out. And uh, 
yeah, I'll be back with some more videos very soon, and uh, I promise Aragorn will be coming up very, very shortly. So stay tuned for that. Until then, see you on the next one.